Hi everybody and welcome. We're doing a quick video on what to do if my uh, my Chromebook doesn't have the app installed on it for testing. Well, you see I'm turning on my Chromebook right now and uh, it's taking about eight seconds to load up. And once it loads up, I can look down here in the corner and see that it says shut down, but it doesn't have the app. Well, well what do I do? The Chromebook gets all of its permissions from the internet. So if I log in as myself, or if I log in as any user, I could log in as a student, I could log in uh, as a guest, if that's a possibility, just hit browse guest. If you just get to the internet, then this Chromebook is gonna connect with the internet and start gaining new permissions. Well, the permissions that this Chromebook uh, have include that test app. Now sometimes, uh, you know, the Google page will fire up and you think you're on the internet and maybe it's a little glitchy, you're not on the internet. I think one great way to, to make sure you're on the internet is to, you know, Google something kind of crazy, you know, hang glider. Uh, that way, once it looks up hang glider, you know, oh, it's definitely on the internet. And since it's on the internet, it's gaining new permissions. It's finding out all the permissions that it's supposed to have as a Chromebook in the Thomas Unified School District. So as a Chromebook in the Natomas Unified School District, it should have our test app. Now I'm gonna click down here and I'm gonna sign out. Once I've signed out and it fires back up the home screen, you can see that it's got new permissions. And one of those permissions is our testing app. So if you get to a Chromebook that doesn't have that test app, just log in as yourself or as a guest or as a student get to Google, make sure you're on the internet for 60 seconds while it gains the appropriate permissions and then log out and when you fire it back up, it uh, will have the app there. Okay, happy testing.